Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is meant by contrails, the reasons for contrails, chemtrails, and what are the vortices that form at the engine inlet. First, let's see what is meant by contrails. Contrails is short for condensation trails or vapor trails that can be seen downstream of a jet engine exhaust. Contrails are something that occur naturally and depending on the atmospheric conditions, it may form when an aircraft is flying at a very high altitude or at lower altitudes as well. But there can be some smoke trails that can be man-made. Usually at air shows, the aerobatic aircraft that are flying leave a smoke trail behind them. This trail is man-made and does not depend on the atmospheric conditions. The smoke is created by spraying degradable paraffin-based oil at the engine exhaust. Because of the high exhaust gas temperatures, the oil will immediately vaporize, leaving a smoke trail behind the aircraft. Another method is to use a separate smoke generator that will create the smoke trail through different nozzles at the trailing edge of the aircraft. The oil that is used should be non-toxic and should not cause damage to the aircraft or affect the pilots or the audience. The smoke that is created also gives a visual idea to the pilots about other aircraft's trajectory and can assist them in making corrections as required. Now let's look at the reasons for contrail formation. As we saw earlier, the contrails form naturally behind an aircraft. One of the reasons for contrail formation is because of the mixing of hot, humid air from the engine exhaust with the outside air, which has low vapor pressure and low temperature. The hot, humid air immediately condenses because of the outside air conditions and freezes immediately, causing a white trail behind the aircraft. The size, thickness and duration of the contrail depends on the aircraft's altitude, the temperature and humidity of the atmosphere. These contrails are usually seen on aircraft flying at very high altitudes. Some contrails may be seen on aircraft flying at lower altitudes. These contrails are mostly formed at the trailing edge of the flaps or the wingtips and not necessarily at the engine exhaust. At the trailing edge of the flaps and the wingtips, vortices are created behind the aircraft. These vortices cause a reduction in pressure and temperature which can cause the water in the air to condense, resulting in a visible contrail. These contrails also depend on the humidity of the air, but will usually occur at lower altitudes when the aircraft is flying at slow speeds. Now let's see what is meant by chemtrails? According to some people, chemtrails are a chemical smoke trail which is sprayed by an aircraft in flight over certain places. These toxic chemicals were loaded on the aircraft based on inputs from certain people. There is no evidence which supports this and no specific system is installed on the aircraft for spraying chemicals except for a few aircraft used for crop cultivation. So we can conclude that chemtrails do not exist. Now we will look at what are these smoke trails which are created at the engine inlet. These trails are called as inlet vortex and occur when the aircraft is on ground 
and is stationary or moving at slow speeds and the engine is creating high thrust. These vortices extend from the ground and enter the engine through the engine's diffuser section. The vortex that is formed will condense the air creating a visible vortex trail at the inlet as shown here. So these vortices also depend on the humidity of the outside air. But this vortex trail may affect engine operation whereas other contrails do not affect the engine or the aircraft. This is because any dirt or small objects at this section will be sucked into the engine resulting in foreign object damage and affect the engine's operation. These trails only occur under specific conditions and will disappear as the aircraft's speed increases or if there are any crosswinds. So that's all for my video on contrails, the reasons for contrails, chemtrails and the inlet vortex. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.